Okay. Now it's running. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Recording. Okay. Um, so a few things to, to say before I start is is um, actually we started is um, you could also try to come inside the picture. Too really it's difficult. To no. Yeah. So if you would set like a frame, mm. it's too difficult to do that. Okay. Is it? Yeah, put the camera over there. But then the the microphone would be <laughs> far away. Yeah. Uh, I think you need to speak louder, though. Okay, we try so. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I wanted to get a micro, uh, a separate mic, but it was too expensive. Um, I've got oh, a second microphone. If you, I, I had also two very good microphones and a completely recording setup for audio. I not, I didn't even think about this. Um, I get them from the, uh, from the. I don't know where someone someone wants to throw it away, and I get it. It's really good equipment. Like wow. um, shit. Yeah, but but you cannot use it with this thing. I it, think it, so. it might be possible. But anyway, let's let's do yeah, that. Okay. I'm telling you first. Okay, so uh, at, at any point, if there are things that are too sensitive and you want me to cut them out, uh, let me know. I'll just cut them out. Of course. Um, and the other thing is um, another option that we have is is if. It's sensitive, but uh, but it's only sensitive now, and you you don't mind letting it out 50 years later. Let me know. We can put an embargo on it, uh, meaning that we will only let it out 50 years later. So that's kind of standard. Um, and I think this is really correct for everything. Everything is not important in 50 years. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. Some people choose 100 years. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Well, no, yeah. And do they want to live? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, what was the other You just thing? want to live 50 more years? I don't want to think about this. Uh, okay, anyway. Right, so the other thing is... Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Right, you, usually you, um, once the interview is done and um, I, I would just go home, boost the sound and I'll upload straight away. But if you, if you want to see it first, uh, let me know and then I'll send it to you first. So yeah, I think I would prefer this. Yeah, I don't think it's a problem, but uh, I, I think we have some better with this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, do you see? Yeah, I can do it like that. Okay, right. Okay, so yeah. we will just start. Um, I guess the first thing we will start with is uh, what are your names? Uh, I'm Carl. Uh, okay. I'm Daniel. <laughs> okay, and uh, Carl and Daniel in uh, the Repair Cafe. So, how did the Repair Cafe start? Okay, um, there was another Repair Cafe before, um, and it still exists. It is in uh, the west of Leipzig. And we decided we want something here, so the persons who live in the east of Leipzig don't have to uh, don't have to move to the west to repair something. Because if you repair a big machine or so, you don't want to carry it through the whole city. Right. And we both uh, like to repair things and do this on a regular basis. And so with thought about why not we can do yeah. the same thing like they did in, in the West. So, yeah, it was the general idea of this house as well to have something like an open workshop. Um, and like now we have a workshop but it's uh, still only for the people in the house and it's closed and that's, that's also why we thought that maybe Let's just open one room and uh, do a repair cafe, and we can store some tools here and um, help people. All right. So yeah. if it's there, there was another one in the is it in the east? You mentioned. No, we're in the east. West. Oh, and yeah. the other one is in the west. It's in the west. Yes. Okay. And so how, how long has it been? How long has it been uh, open for? Oh, I think they they. Uh, are open longer than three years now. There, mm -hmm. were, there was a birthday party some months ago. They are longer open than three years. The, the one in the west. The one in the west. Right. We are open like one year. A bit longer. A bit longer, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Right. Um, and there, there is another repair cafe kind of thing in Sublab as well, right? That's yes, this is the one in the West. That's the one in the West. Yes, right, right. But there are uh, other repair cafes, but I don't know these. Yeah, Georg Straßstraße, I, I think there is one. And then you have the well, the, the maker space. But you have to pay for that. Mm. And it's, it's not really close either. Okay. Um, and it's fairly new too. Yeah. Um, Sorry, how long did you say this place has been open again? Like, it, this repair cafe we started a bit longer than a year. Uh oh, a bit longer than a year ago. And, and how has it been since it started? Do, do a lot of people come? Well, we ne nearly always people come. So, um, like one or two. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good starting point. Um, I well, we 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 didn't really advertise it um, like in the public yet. Um, yeah, we're, we're still thinking about that. Yeah, we might do it soon. I don't know. Maybe we should do it. We tried it first before we started. We, we think about advertising it, but uh, then we we are not really interested in doing things like this. And we just didn't do it. Yeah, well, and other places work without this advertising. Right. Like the bicycle workshop, uh, you already know. Maybe it will come back to this later or not. I don't know. Then this one was never advertised and it's very big. No, big. I don't know how to call it. A lot of people go there. Sorry, do you mind if we move this part away so I can push the mic nearer? Yeah, like it. Of course. Um, Maybe it's okay for you to talk a little bit. Uh, um. Janek, when you're a bit leiser, sorry. Okay. Okay. Ah, I apologize for that. Right, um, where were we? Right, advertising. Um, so you don't do much publicity for the Repair Cafe? Yeah. More or less none. Like we, we are on one, it's called Monatsblatt, so it's a monthly uh, piece of paper with dates and I think it's just the names. So it just says like Monday's Repair Cafe and the place may does it do that? Yeah. yeah I think it's but like then it's probably it probably only says Wurze and so people need to know where it is. It's a bit like it's uh, from the left scene and not not everyone gets it. So what what paper is this? It's a monthly paper where just uh, this like is a, just like a list a calendar of more or less with with every date and what happens. So that our concerts. Um, um, maybe I'll have to answer that. Um, yeah, concerts, the other, the bicycle workshop, um, exhibitions or something. And what's it called? Uh, Monatsblatt. Mona. I think it doesn't have a it's just a monthly paper. And it's okay. it's in collaboration with the Riso Club, which is a, a printing workshop. That okay. our prints are on a special technique. Okay. Which is mostly for advertisement, I think. Like for yeah, for for left scene advertisement. Mm. But I, d I don't know whether they have a political There's no there's no scene behind well, this idea. I think they don't like assholes, but uh, nobody likes yeah. like assholes, and uh, they have just a Riso printer. It's an interesting thing. I don't know if you know this. It's a uh, soy-based printing system. They can print really cheap, uh, um, small. Is this an Auflage? Edition. Small. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's just, that's just a good word for this. Small batches. Yeah, if you want to, to uh, print small batches or medium small batches, mm. then uh, you can do this. They are really cheap. It's not that expensive. Mm. You have to create 
the mask, and then you can print with this mask a lot of papers. Right. Okay. Uh, should we wait for him? I think so. Yeah. Okay. I'll just pause this and. Okay, we're on again. <laughs> we, we were just waiting for you. Uh, Fine. Right. So, um, so we were talking about the the magazine or the magazine, right? It was magazine. Well, it's just one piece of paper. Oh, it's one piece of paper. Yeah. Right. And um, and you were saying that it's you don't want to fit it into uh, either left or right. Can't remember. No, not, they, nothing like this. But I want. I don't like this construct of like uh, a special scene or so. Of course, it forms uh, like um, a scene, but if you if you uh, use this way of thinking, um, I don't think it works for everything. And this is a Riso Grinta, which uh, with a group which follows some ideas, and I think uh, these ideas match with. Up, uh, our ideas and the ideas of others, but I don't want to uh, uh, want to put it in this political framework and say this is part of the left scene because this would uh, conclude a lot of things together uh, which do not form um, uh, a coherent thing. Do you understand what my problem is? I don't know. Hmm. I, I kind of get it. Um, I, I guess also something like a repair cafe does not really need to fit into a, a political spectrum, right? Um, because everyone needs to repair their stuff. No, I wouldn't say something like this. No. But uh, the, it, the thing is the worst. I think some political opinions um, fit to some way of living, maybe like this. Do you understand what I... Um, oh, it's difficult to, to, to uh, get this right in English. How, how would you say I, it in I, German? I, I would say repairing something is a political action. Yes, it is. And um, it doesn't... Like that, and that's that's the thing, and you don't need to categorize it. Okay. Yeah. So it for you it's political, but there's no need to categorize it, whether left, right, or anything else. Everyone, everyone who wants to repair something is welcome to do that, and I think enough people choose not to. Like there's many people that would say, uh, let's buy something new, because that's that's how nowadays it. it it works really easily to just buy stuff new and then stuff breaks very fast and you just yeah. but of course we don't want <laughs> the, uh, any assholes here and uh, persons who uh, um, have like racistic opinions or so on it's not that we're saying we are open to everyone uh, who is uh, a total asshole and uh, as long as he comes inside and prepares something it's cool but this is something which is normal uh, for everyone who want that uh, there is a an, an way of, of uh, get along which with each other which everyone should uh, accept but this is nothing uh, we have to have to uh, do only here this is something for which counts everywhere. Mm. So I would uh, um, would not put it together with this repairing thing because this is a thing which counts everywhere. Right, right. Mm. To, to be a decent human being. Yes. Okay. Right. So you guys have been here for a while, uh, a little more than a year, and uh, haven't done much publicity yet, but. So how do people get to know about this place? I guess most people that come know someone that we know. 
I know someone who was here before. Or was or he, yeah. Walks beside the window. And that, that, yeah, that's my, that's the most funny people actually. <laughs> that just walk by and see that something happens and are interested and are just open for uh, for the idea. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, so many, I think many people that come here are kind of familiar faces that you've seen before somewhere. Mm -hmm. And they will come regularly? No. no. Some, Some do. <laughs> and others not. Okay. Sometimes we fix things so that they stay uh, fine and sometimes they're breaking it. Right. And one thing I think which is very important is that we don't try to fix these things, we try to help the persons who come here find, uh, uh, with their things that they can fix it themselves. Mm -hmm. um, this is why we call it T-Stunde or Technik talk, uh, Technik Sprechstunde. So we talk about the Technik as good as we can and we can use the internet to get more information and we try to find out what's wrong and we try to get an idea of what's happening and this could be uh, any uh, case of technique and then we uh, try to provide an environment where the persons who come here can repair this thing or can uh, get it working again or break it and learn something this is also very good if you have something you don't need and you uh, take it apart and take a look inside this is a good use for a broken thing you don't have to repair it every time Okay, that's true. And had, have you seen a number of visitors grow across the, the months that you've been here? I don't know. In what well, in the beginning, sometimes we were alone, and actually now now we have people joining us every time. Yeah. Like Ben is now every time here, on nearly and the Janice. So. Okay. Um, and so, some other people. Yes. Cool. Yeah, there are some people who are regular here, and I think also because of the Atari, um, then normally at ten, a handful of people comes and um, we just talk about things. Then, then mostly it's not about repairing anymore. Okay. But yeah, just. But I guess it's still about projects that we have. And, Mm. What what kind of projects? Old question. <laughs> um, as you come in here, we were talking about the uh, network of this house we are in, and we want to uh, like better organize this network because Daniel is living here. Um, he Feels like uh, a for this one. He wants to fix his network, and so we were talking about this, and I uh, tried to, to help as good as I can. This was maybe one project. Right. And so, this house you live here. Uh, could you tell me yes. how, how this whole thing worked? I think at one point um, this was described as a mixed house in the Yes. How, how does that work? Um, well, we bought this house three years ago, a bit more. We live here for three years now, so it's three and a half, four years that we bought it. Um, and the, the concept is, um, well, the concept evolved from from old um, occupied houses or, or, or let's say um, like in the okay, anyway, in the 68, in the 86 anyway, so um, back, back then when, when hippies uh, bought houses and had uh, big um, ideals and um, wanted to live in communities, um, uh, yeah, some some houses um, came into existence, and and later, 
people change their mind and uh, notice that it's worth money and that you can sell it and then uh, somehow like the idea that that uh, started the project and, and and I think a lot of people really put put a lot of energy in the project because they think well that's something that's going to last forever like this community is going to stay and I want to put my energy in, in this community and then later someone comes and says well but I could now just pretend it's mine and then I could sell it and then I have a lot of money so to uh, make this impossible um, the, the Mito Syndicate came into existence and, and they said well we're, we're just going to make it impossible to sell the house again and this works uh, through, through our construction um, with, with this um, GmbH so the uh, I think there's what is that? Limited liability confirmation. Limited liability confirmation, but I think it's still a German thing, and maybe it's just right. Not explain it in, uh, in in special, not that exactly, but there is a construction of. Um, well, but yeah, but it but it the construction uses uses the German law. Yes, of kind of, of of this limited liability um, association. And by this, like you can split the the house into two halves, like on the, the ownership, and and by this, no one can really decide to sell the house on its own. And then, like the one half is owned by all the houses throughout Germany. Like you have a big association of of all the people living in houses, and this association is never gonna get to the point that each and every person is gonna say yes, we want to sell this house. And by this. Construction. Maybe there are reasons to sell a house again. It well, could be. I don't know. But it hasn't. Hmm? I think it hasn't happened yet. But yeah, because it's not the point. Yeah, but if there would be a good reason, it would be possible to sell it. But it is very difficult because of this uh, splitting scheme, 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 yes. scheme. What did you say? Yeah, splitting scheme. Okay. Um, it would be possible if, if, if each uh, house in this association would agree on it because it's all uh, based on consensus. Um, so a single house saying no normally hmm. means no. And that's why I think it hasn't happened. Yeah, it's really difficult to sell a house again. Yeah. So it has to be a unanimous decision from everyone living here. No, no, not from everyone living in the house, but from everyone living in houses like this. Oh, okay. So there's not Across only this house, but in Leipzig there's about, I don't know how many right now, six, six to ten, something like that. And in Berlin there's like the same number, and I think in total it's around, around, 100, this, around 100 houses mm. like this in Germany now. I think even some... In, I think there's one in, in uh, Austria or something. Mm. Well, I'm not sure about that. Maybe we should cut that out. <laughs> anyway, uh, no. Okay. So, so yeah, that's uh, that's um, a whole bunch of people. Right. And it's um, actually um, right now getting quite different, to, uh, quite difficult to to cope with all the people, because like. Um, Every half a year, we have um, a, a gathering with all the houses, and then we decide like what houses uh, can can join next, um, and general organization. And it's, it's a lot of people that, that need to be there and to decide. And uh, it's really not. It it starts getting boring. Like if you decide something with. 300 people because you can't say anything to the matter anymore and you need really strict rules and um, that's why there are some opinions of maybe splitting it up um, but that would be sad on the other hand too okay. but yeah and that m maybe the like the the so that's the the big construction um, but in, in small it um, it more or less works um, by the way that that um, Every person living in the house um, is part of the association that just um, controls the house. And so, by the act of moving in, you um, you get to decide what happens with the house. And it's only the, the people living in the house 
that decide what, what happens in the house. Uh, and on the other hand, you can just move out and then you're, you're done with it. So um, it's not like when you start this, you put your money in and you're kind of bound to the house. Um, but um, yeah, because the money comes from, from all different places, like everyone can, can loan something to the house, but it's not bound to living there. Mm. Okay, um, let's let's go back to the repair uh, thing. So uh, across Leipz Leipzig, would you would you say that uh, would you say that there's any sort of a repair culture going on? To repair okay, what? Repair culture. Would would people mostly repair their stuff, or would they just get a new one? Uh, I don't know. I think it depends on the people. One thing which uh, is normal here is that there are a lot of persons who don't have much money and so uh, and maybe much time or at least enough time to repair something. Mm -hmm. So uh, they are interested in repairing things. It's uh, every time it's, an, it's an, uh, uh, yeah. a deal between time and money right. if you just see the, the, the Result, but it's more you learn something and maybe you have fun with this and you meet with other persons. But if you only see the result, it's uh, uh, changing money against time. And so, if you have time and you don't have money, uh, you may be interested in repairing things. Well, some, sometimes it's things that you can't replace with money. Of course. If you have something really nice, like a nice old, I don't know, coffee machine or something. Then you definitely don't want to throw it away. But you, you can you pay you someone. Yeah, you'd probably it. rather pay someone a couple of hundred euros for for repair. Yeah. That's right. And then there's another thing. Then if you repair stuff, you uh, don't throw them, throw it away. And uh, I think a lot of persons don't like to produce much of trash, and so this is also a reason to repair things. Mm. Right. And what kind of things have people brought in to repair? Could you give me a range? Oh, there was someone with a rice cooker. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> I brought in the rice cooker. Um, and someone. Um, a lot of laptops, every, of course. Yes. A lot of laptops. Um, so one thing which happens really often is that someone comes here with a software problem or a hardware problem with a laptop, and software problems uh, are easy to fix or what's not, not easy to fix, but it's, if it's only a software problem, you can replace the software. Normally, a software problem is called Windows, and you can replace it with Linux, and everything is a little bit better. But uh, maybe this is a bit, little bit too easy to, to say it like this. But software problems uh, don't render things totally broken. Okay. Yeah. What else? We we um. Well, we ourselves we fixed the the kitchen machine. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Uh, and we rewound a, a motor coil. Like a kitchen machine. Yes, like um. This was a very really interesting thing. Yeah, it had a broken motor, so a, a coil was burned. Mm. Um, and so we counted. Did, I don't know, did we count? No, I think no. I, we, we weighed the coil and then we calculated how much copper wire we need and which thickness and um, we wound it ourselves and put it back in and uh, it mm. actually works right now. Which no one thought when yes. we were doing it. I was doubting it either. <laughs> yeah. This was a cooking stove. Uh, no, it was a, a cutting machine. A cutting machine? Like for cutting vegetables. Oh, right. Or, or, yeah. uh, or for making uh, dough. Yeah. Anyway. You can yeah. use it for everything. Multi-purpose like kitchen mm. machine. Mm. Like a food processor? I don't know if it's called like this. Yeah. Yeah? Food processor. Okay, food processor. Okay. Mm. <laughs> wow. Okay. I think now we make people have you. different opinions on food processor. Isn't that when you like when you heat something and you can yeah. also mix it? The kitchen machine is a food processor. Okay. Um, what else do we have? 
clothes, oh, no? Someone is take a look and inside. Another laptop. Oh, okay. Okay, I think I should try and end this soon because you yeah, more yeah, coming. Yeah. Um, okay, I guess where do you where do you see this repair cafe going in the next couple of years? Maybe close it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um I yeah. Well, we, we, we're going to take out this wall, which can't be seen on the camera now, but the room is going to double in size and um, it's probably going to look a bit nicer, well, depending on how you define nice. But, um, yeah, so there's always going to be um, events here in this room and I think the Repair Cafe can also last here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And last question, what's one thing you want people to know about the Repair Cafe? The Repair Cafe. Maybe it's a general idea. You can do this on your own. You can repair things. You can help other people repairing things. And I think it's useful to do this. You don't throw things away just because they don't work properly. At least look inside. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much for this interview. You're welcome.